guys, uh, thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm a professional model and commercial actor based out of Southern California. So with the recent reboot on my channel, I've been asking you guys for feedback on a lot of stuff that you'd like to see on upcoming videos. Uh, one of the things that I've been seeing a lot is uh, your guys' curiosity about my skincare routine and what products I use uh, to keep youthful skin, uh, because obviously I'm in front of the camera a lot, it's my full-time job uh, to look good. Um, and at the age of 38, I'll be 39 in September this year, um, I need any bonus I can get in that regard. And uh, there's a few uh, products that really, really stand out for me that have been extraordinary in terms of you know, six months of usage and seeing a really big difference. Um, I have the benefit of being on set all the time with, uh, you know, different stylists and makeup artists and uh, other actors and models. So I get to learn a lot of cool industry tips along the way. So I'm excited to share those with you today with my morning skin routine. Check it out. So before I get too far along in this video, I just want to mention that every product I mention is going to be in the link below as well as in the link in the description. It's going to be in one convenient place for you. So one of the things that's really easy to overlook is exfoliating your skin. Why do you need to do this? Well, if you don't exfoliate your skin uh, before applying a moisturizer, then you're basically just wasting the moisturizer. Like it's not gonna absorb into your skin and be effective. So all that lotion or whatever you might be using, if at all, um, is kind of going to waste if you don't first prepare the skin to absorb it. So the first thing I do in the morning is I start by washing my face, or should I say exfoliating it. Uh, the first product I'm going to tell you about is by Theratree. It's a therapeutic exfoliating scrub. Uh, it's tea tree and mint, so it has this awesome like cooling sensation when you use it. And what it does is it takes off dead skin, uh, body odor, skin irritation, it uh, works under blemishes, and it prepares you for the moisturizer that I'm going to mention later on when you're, you know, say you're out of the shower and about to apply. Um, because without the exfoliation process again, it's not gonna absorb it and really get the benefits. So the next part of my routine is continuing the exfoliating. Uh, but now I need to do my entire body. Uh, to do that, you're gonna wanna get these gloves. Not just any gloves, but these carbonized um, bamboo version because they're, they're really um, good for your body in terms of the natural fibers and the way they exfoliate specifically. Um, I know they look kind of feminine, but I'm telling you guys, like you're gonna get compliments on your skin all the time. And uh, when you get to be older, you're gonna really, really appreciate these and what they do for you on the daily when you're always removing excess, um, the excess of dead skin. And then again, applying the moisturizer afterwards, like I mentioned. Uh, so these are gonna be in the link in the description that I just mentioned. You just pop them on. And once they are on, I'm gonna get to the next product and tell you about how to apply. I think <laughs> I think the ones on my shop are gray, so that helps it all. They're a little more masculine than this uh, light blue, teal, or baby blue, whatever that is. <laughs> um, next up is the body wash. So I take this and obviously apply it to the gloves and vigorously scrub my entire body. I love Dr. Bronner's. It's an 18-in-1 hemp peppermint pure Castile soap. Um, this also has that really amazing um, cooling effect that the uh, facial scrub I mentioned has. Um, it leaves you feeling super refreshed and it's all natural ingredients. Uh, it's great for your skin and it doesn't dry it out. Okay, so next up in my morning skincare routine, I'm out of the shower. Obviously, um, prior to this, I shampoo and condition, to condition my hair. Um, I will be doing a future video on how I keep really, really healthy hair all year in terms of uh, supplements I take and uh, shampoos and conditioners and whatnot. Um, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe before you go, and that way you will be kept in the loop. The thing that I'm most excited to tell you about is this emu oil. Um, this has been a godsend. Uh, like I said, the last six months, well actually it's maybe been a little bit longer than that, um, I started using it and seeing a huge difference in my skin overall. Um, I was up in Portland for a job and this makeup artist was working on me and I was just like looking at her while, while she was doing um, the cover up and all that stuff and I said like, wow, your skin's like crazy, it just glows, like what's going on, you know? And she's like, oh, you, you don't know, use emu oil? She's like, Demi Moore and Charlize Theron always rave about it. I'm like, I don't know, I never heard about it. Uh, but anyways, um, she blew my mind when she told me that she was my age and her skin was seriously like, I thought she was just like mid twenties. So that for me was just like, 
a, a testament and I knew that I had to get it. Um, I ended up finding this really awesome one she told me about. Um, it's Australian emu oil and it has lavender infused into it. Um, the reason that matters is because otherwise we don't have a lavender version. Um, it just kind of has a weird smell. It's not like that bad, but for me this is a game changer. Um, this particular one is um, obviously a product of Australia and um, one of the things it also has is an antiseptic and anti-inflammatory action about it. Um, I use this on my face um, in the evening. So the reason is, is because it has quite a bit of shine to it because it is oil. Um, so I do shower, you know, in the morning typically, I'll go to the gym and then I shower at night. Um, so you're gonna wanna apply this on your face in the evening. Um, but I'm talking about it now right after getting in the shower because I use it for my entire body. Um, I put the concentrated amounts um, on my elbows, uh, sternum, the back of my neck, my knees, heels, and then I rub the residual on the rest of my body. Uh, reason is because those areas of your body are more, most likely uh, going to wrinkle first. Um, so yeah, this one is just amazing. You'll see the, the most results in my opinion from this, but remember you have to use the other products um, to exfoliate to prepare it so the oil will be absorbed. Um, so the next product is, since you can't use um, that during the day unless you want to look super shiny, is this daily SPF moisturizer. This is actually from uh, Cindy Crawford's line, Meaningful Beauty. Um, it's seriously awesome stuff. And this is another person where it's like, look at Cindy Crawford for her age. It's unreal how young she looks. So of course she probably had some plastic surgery along the way, but even with that said, you cannot get that good or that youthful of skin if you're not using some great products. Um, so this particular one is the antioxidant day cream. Um, it's an SPF uh, 20. Um, you really have to pay attention to the sun. Um, although it's good for your skin to have a healthy amount each day, um, the thing is that uh, over time, obviously, it ages your skin. Um, I'm in the sun a lot. Um, that's another part of kind of my routine is every day I'm getting ample amounts because I like to be tan. Um, I just looks better on camera for me. It's, it's great for my overall complexion and look. So um, with that said, I'm always putting on an SPF. Um, I go harder on um, SPFs when I go to play volleyball during the day, but my go-to, again, moisturizer is this uh, SPF 20, so it's not so extreme. Um, when you use this though, on your face, you want to make sure that you don't rub it too close to your eyes. You want to stay just around the sockets. The reason for that is um, usually SPFs will be a little bit allergic um, for, for most people's eyes. Uh, for me, it, it just starts to make mine kind of close up and feel really dry and irritated. So I tend to just like go around the, the major areas, you know. So the last product I'm going to mention in my skincare routine is kind of an alternative that I just bounce between or I mix with the emu oil when I just want to tone down the oiliness. Um, and that is the Alba Botanica uh, Very Emollient Body Lotion. Um, this is just an awesome go-to uh, body lotion that uh, is super affordable and it lasts a long time. Um, it has a great kind of scent to it that isn't overbearing. And um, yeah, it's vegetarian ingredients, uh, no animal testing, no parabens. So it's really great for your skin and has uh, clinical results. So can't go wrong. Um, yeah, so that wraps up my skincare routine. These are my top products that I use all year. I'll keep you guys posted on future videos. If there's anything new that comes down the way that I'm super excited about, I'd be happy to share that with you guys. Um, there's a couple things uh, that I mentioned that are gonna be in future videos. My hair, uh, I get lots of compliments on it and I really appreciate that. Um, obviously, at my age of 38, like having thick, healthy hair isn't always that common. Um, and so yeah, that video should really, really help you guys in terms of getting uh, super thick, healthy hair. And um, don't forget to check out the video um, on how to style like a pro. Um, I go through my uh, daily kind of blow dryer uh, application, the uh, product I use, and uh, yeah, you know, the rest of everything I do to make it look kind of natural and flowy and uh, ready for camera or just a night out. 
All right, so that wraps up my skincare routine. Please do leave some comments below. Let me know if you have any questions about anything I mentioned. Again, all the products are gonna be the link below in the description. And uh, before you go, make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna have a lot of awesome content coming up that should, again, improve your guys' quality of life. Please do keep giving me the feedback about things you wanna see. Um, and oh yeah, I wanted to mention that in this video, um, I didn't apply any products or put on any makeup or anything like that because I wanted to let you guys see my skin and uh, you know let the, the proof be here with no filter, no BS um, in terms of these products and that they, they really do work. Um, again, I think for my age, I get uh, you know more compliments than probably most guys about my skin. And um, I think that's why you guys were asking so much. So I'm, I'm happy to share all this because um, I think without this and the tips I learned from all the like talented people I've been able to work with, I really don't think my skin will look like this, honestly. Um, I think, you know, you just gotta take care of yourself. You gotta do the upkeep. Um, you know, age is a fleeting thing, so don't take it for granted. Health is wealth. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Again, thank you for stopping by. Take care.